kind of a dangerous place right now. You know, it really needs to come down. Once a source of pride and thousands of well-paying jobs, the old RCA plant became one of the city's biggest industrial eyesores, but not for much longer. More than a quarter century after it closed, what's left of the now shuttered plant is coming down. Now, the buildings are all part of a 50-acre site at East Michigan and LaSalle, just east of downtown Indianapolis. As our City Beat reporter Mary Mills explains, neighbors are ready for the demolition. Demolition begins late Monday morning after what the mayor's office is calling a kickoff celebration. Those we talk to say they will be celebrating once the plant is gone. It's time. It's been here and empty. They found dead bodies over there. There's been fires over there. It should have been down a long time ago. Bruce O'Loughlin sees it every day. The busted windows, graffiti, the years of vandalism and neglect. I'll be able to see sunsets and sunrises. I mean, that ugly building will be gone and just be blue sky for a while. Once a source of thousands of well-paying jobs, the site has been vacant for 25 plus years. It's kind of a dangerous place right now. You know, it really needs to come down. But Charles Blackwell is also a bit nostalgic. He was with RCA 35 years. That's me, and I was a uh, model maker. He loved his job, walked to work every day. A lot of good people lived, made their living, worked there. Blackwell says when RCA left, the neighborhoods surrounding the plant began to decline. It just became rentals. People uh, moved out, they had to go find new jobs, they had to make new lives. With the last of the plant now coming down, those who live nearby are hoping for a fresh start. A lot of the crimes will probably hopefully go down. It will help the neighborhood by upping the values of the neighborhood. Um, the homes. The site, which the city now owns, is one of three finalists for the new criminal justice center. O'Loughlin says that's fine by him. If uh, they put that new police thing in over here, that's going to be great because I hear that neighborhoods that have those, the crime rate goes down quite a bit. While some people we talk to aren't quite sure about a criminal justice center, regardless of what goes in here, they say they're just glad to see these buildings finally coming down. Demolition is expected to take about a month. Jenny? All right, we will be sure to follow that. Thank you, Mary. By the way, the cost of that demolition, about $700,000. The city also received a grant from the EPA to help with the cleanup and plans for the site.